Right, Alex, um, the situation is this. Um, I'm the prosecutor and I'm now going to dis describe the case to the jury. And I want you to concentrate and go away and think about it. He's had enough already. <laughs> get to the point. Yes, crack off. Get to the point. Uh, <laughs> we all, we've all got the problem. Go straight to jail. Do not collect. <laughs> Order. Start Order. again. Start again. Order. <laughs> Order. Do not pass go. Go straight to jail. Order in the court. Could we um have a little bit of. Order in the court. Respect. Right, get, to the, get, to the, get to the point. Hang on, that is all up again. Jackson has resumed his breakfast. Jackson has had a humongous breakfast. Brilliant. He's had porridge, a whole apple, a whole bread roll, one slice of bread, a whole yogurt. I'm listening, it's brilliant. Right, can we, um, shut up, <laughs> the judge would say. Uh, Alex, now listen, I, this is the defendant. I'm now introducing the defendant's situation and the prosecutor's situation to the jury. So I'm the prosecutor, oh, and I'm quoting from my MG6. No. This, 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 man, it, this man in the dock is, is charged for stalking a member of parliament. Now, for those who don't know what stalking means, it's a form of harassment. So it's a breach of the 1997 Harassment Act. Now, the evidence is so simple. I am accused of sending her a letter from the prison round about the 17th of May, 2019. And, and in the letter, in the letter, it went to her home address in Stoke St. Mary. And she found white powder in the envelope. And the aide, called Michael Asher, got called in and decided to call the police. Now, I sent out letters to a number of people at about that time, all for the same reason. I needed help. Alex, Alex, I needed help. About the bullying I was getting from the South Wales Police. And I wasn't interviewed yes, until the 1st of August of that year and the police came to the prison. They opened the cell door and put me in my wheelchair and I was locked up for 32 minutes in the shower while they searched my room for drugs. Now I then heard a rumour that the letter I'd sent to my MP in Wales Secretary of State for Wales, uh, Alan Cairns, who I'd known for many years. Kids went to school with Genevieve. Um, he also had, they, they by then, they were intercepting every letter I wrote and they found white powder in that one. Now, nothing happened about that. They didn't want him being involved with the court case, so they decided not to do me for that. But they pursued... <laughs> Another letter that went to John Graham, who is a follower and a, um, a web, web writer and so on. Okay. And he's witnessed a lot of these court cases. I appreciate the backstory, but uh, you had a question for me. Well, I'm trying to give you the evidence. Okay. That, that, now, they have now admitted that, 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 that they got a letter from me that was intercepted. It's taken 18 months for them to admit it. And in the letter it says, could you find me a lawyer? Okay. Right, which is a... But what is this white powder? Well, if you read the statement of the, of the MP, she said it looked like glue by the way that it was spread along the top of the letter at the back, as if it was stuck on the wall. 
Well, it was actually toothpaste used as glue. Now, the Welsh police tried to pursue prosecutions. And because I then, when I got out of prison, they incidentally kept me in prison for nine months on the excuse that I was dangerous. When I got out, I delivered another letter to her, this time by hand, by going to Stoke St Mary, waiting until she's out of the building, the car's going to go down the road, and I push it through a letterbox. Can you pick mine up? Now, I've been charged for harassing her because I've twice been to the Conservative office, office at uh, uh, Taunton Railway Station. So I, in one year, I sent her two letters and been to her office Look, twice got her new and rung up the um, aid uh, once on the phone, or maybe twice. Now, the prosecution case is that that is sufficient to be stalking my own MP. Can you get your head around that one? Well, what, what do you do if you're a constituent and you've got a problem with the planning people and in the end you say, I'm going to take it to my MP because these, the, the county council is acting illegally or, or they won't empty your dustbins. Or, or, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. No, no, but a member of parliament, do you understand what a member of parliament does? Do you know what his job is? Yeah, to basically talk to represent normal people, right? Yes. Civilians, yeah. and, and and that's the content of my letter was, 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 was just that. Right. Well, that... I'm, I have no... So you'll find me not guilty. Well, that's good. We'll get you onto the jury somehow. That's fine. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we'll work that one. Uh, mother, mother, what do you think? Dad, I'm sorry. Should, to sh not give should you I be found guilty or not? <laughs> Can't hold your nose.